Hi, I'm Pascal Wilburn, Critical Care Nurse. And I'm Seth Larger, Critical Care Nurse. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to set up and to remove the hotline fluid warming system, which allows blood and intravenous fluid to be delivered to a patient via IV site at temperatures of 37 to 42 degrees centigrade and or 98.6 to 107.6 Fahrenheit with adjustable flow rates given the gravity flow conditions. A hotline warmer surrounds the sterile IV line with a layer of warmed recirculating solution which actively warms the patient's IV. The hotline is a disposable and easy to set up unit. The indications for usage to prevent hypothermia and other complications with large quantities of room temperature IV fluids and blood products are administered to provide core rewarming when uh, treating hypothermia. Some important points to remember are to not use a pressure bag when administering fluids or blood products. Also, do not place the infusion in a uh, IV pump, such as an Alaris IV pump. Do not use in warming. Do not use in warming cross precipitate or granulocyte suspensions. Monitor patient's temperature every hour. Follow the policies and procedures of the facility, including the doctor's orders. Monitor the patient's IV site and check for uh, uh, thermal injuries. Also, assess the patient's response to IV warming treatment. document the usage of um, the hotline fluid warmer and the electronic medical record. Supplies. Number one is the hotline blood fluid warmer. And then hotline fluid warmer set. Uh, intravenous solution or blood products. IV tubing setup, a blood tubing, or a blood tubing setup. To begin, first check the circulation solution is above the minimal mark. Plug the cord into an outlet. On the right side of the machine, attach the blue twin tube connector. Once the tubing is connected, turn the machine on. Power switch on the left. The green light tells you the machine is on and is circulating fluid, and the circulating fluid will be displayed and the number will start to increase on the front of the machine. The circulating fluid will begin priming the tubing. Check the end of the tubing for leaks. If leaks are seen, discard the tubing and retrieve another hotline fluid warmer set. Using aseptic technique, connect the IV tubing to the hotline fluid warmer set. Completely prime both tubing and IV, both IV tubing and hotline fluid warmer set tubing to eliminate all air bubbles.
while priming your IV set frequently check the display temperature. Once the tubings are primed and connected to the patient, adjust the IV fluid flow rate. Check for kinks in the tubing. Do not use needle sticks in the hotline fluid warmer set. After use, turn the machine off. Hotline fluid warmer from the plug port. Discard in the biohazard waste bag if using blood products or follow the policies and procedures of your facility. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.